One of the main motivations for using a synthesizer is its ability to create sounds ranging from the familiar to those that cannot be created by any traditional instrument. Similarly, some synthesizer modules make it possible for the composer or performer to create strings of notes that may be impossible to play by hand. The most common tool for this is a module known as a sequencer. For those unfamiliar with them, a sequencer has a number of steps that can be adjusted to represent individual notes, but also other information such as loudness, articulation, or timbre of the note. The composer or performer sets the values of these parameters ahead of time and then uses either an external clock from another module or often a built-in clock to step through the sequence of notes over and over again. The ARP Module 1027 Clocked Sequential Control featured 10 steps or positions with controls to set three different voltage output settings per position. It too could be set through its positions using an external trigger or by using its internal voltage control clock with a pulse repetition frequency that could go from 20 steps or beats per minute to 400 steps per second well into the audio range. In addition to outputting the three voltages associated with each position, the 1027 could also send a gate signal as each new note was started. The pulse width of this gate is set either by a front panel control or separate voltage control input. When this gate signal is patched to an envelope generator, the pulse width determines how long the envelope is held at its sustain phase. It's set as a percentage of the note's overall duration, from staccato to tenuto. Since the voltage control parameter rows of the module 1027 could be patched back to its own voltage controlled clock rate and pulse width, the composer had considerable control over the duration and articulation of each individual notes in the sequence. It's amazing to think that the module 1027 could do all this with essentially transistor-based technology compared to the microprocessors that control most sequencers today.